is, I think it's a heady thing to do, but it's it's a risk, and it's like it's all those things wrapped up in one, and it really, I think it really fuses and ties this album up together. Don't get mad, get even. There's Aerosmith from their uh, new Pump album. What are you guys listening to at the minute? Who 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 are your favorites? Oh, it's a great band uh, out called Thunder. We got a bunch of tapes, you see, you because you yeah, we got a bunch of tapes because we're coming over to London. We got the whole, uh, we got most of Europe with the cult. the cult, and when we came to over here, of course, the cult are bigger than we are here, so they said they don't want to be on the bill and open up for us here. They want to headline themselves sometime. So we decided to get uh, uh, do it the old-fashioned way, the way we got started. I mean, I used to play with the Kinks, and I played with Yardbirds back in '68 because they didn't bring groups with them. They used local talent. They used whoever was there and could get on the bill and had a manager and paid enough, paid off this one and that one. So that's what we did. We got a bunch of tapes from some people over here. And one of those tapes is this, uh, this band called uh, Thunder. And it's real good. It's real good. Plus so King's X is great. I mean, there's a lot of new stuff coming out so of here. So what we're doing is we'll bring in a different band in every city. There's a couple where we'll be using the same band, you know, but there's, we're going to bring as many newcomers up as we can and we've been we're excited about it because we've, we've wanted to do it for a long time but it's been uh it's really hard because of the politics involved you know but we're coming over here and we're going to do it so we can see you uh mid-november just about everywhere around the uk everyone will get a chance to see Aerosmith yeah. this time around you looking forward to this tour so so much so i mean it's like the states is like well you know it's our home territory uh, and we're pretty well known over there, but we haven't been over here in so long that the kids just hear about what we are, and they haven't—they don't know firsthand. So it's like winning over a whole new market again. So it's like, hey, you know, hungry. Oh man, and it's scary. I'm scared to death, but I can't wait, which makes it all the more fun because uh, I'm getting that rush that I'm not supposed to get. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like we want to come over and show that we're really not Run DMC's backup band, but in fact we have a career of our own. You know. <laughs> Notice how I didn't mention that record. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, because that, you know... That fun, yeah. yeah, again, we were just climbing out of that hole we'd nicely gotten ourselves into and <laughs> and pulled the dirt up in over. Shoveling the dirt in, you know. You know, and it's like, so we climbed out of that hole, and lo and behold, I got the right key, baby, but the wrong key hole. You know, it was a good thing, breaking down the walls between black and white and, and, uh, and the rap folks figuring out that we had that rap stuff long ago anyway. It was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. Thang. Stephen, Joe, thank you very much. All right, thanks a lot, and we'll see you. Now, that is a good album. It really is. The album's called Pump, That's My Girl, and that's Aerosmith. So thank you, uh, Stephen, and thank you, Joe. And there's that fluff trying to get in the door. Ah, oh, we'll see in just a second. Anyway, next week, about 5.30, it'll be Tina Turner.